Today, we're going to take a closer look at groundbreaking discovery made by a team of scientists who found the building blocks of life inside icy clouds, just 500 light years from Earth. This discovery was made with the James Webb Telescope, the most advanced and largest telescope in space. Did you know that the JWST has the ability to see objects up to 13.5 billion light years away? This means that it can observe some of the most distant objects in the universe, including the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. The telescope's powerful infrared capabilities also allow it to see through dust clouds that would block the view of other telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, is a next-generation telescope that was launched into space in 2021. It's considered one of the most powerful telescopes in the world, and it's designed to study a wide range of astronomical phenomena, from the early universe to the formation of stars and planets. The JWST is equipped with a range of cutting-edge instruments, including a large mirror that measures 6.5 meters in diameter, making it the largest mirror ever put into space. This large mirror allows the JWST to collect more light than any other telescope, making it possible to study distant and faint objects in the universe. One of the unique features of the JWST is its ability to study the universe in infrared light. This is important because many astronomical objects emit most of their light in infrared wavelengths, which are invisible to the human eye. The JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to study objects such as distant galaxies, stars, and exoplanets in much more detail than ever before. The JWST is also able to study the universe in multiple wavelengths, including visible, infrared, and near-infrared light. This allows scientists to study the universe in a more comprehensive way and to understand the universe more fully. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was launched into space on October 31st, 2021, so it has been in space for a relatively short period of time. However, it's designed to operate for at least 10 years with the potential for addition mission extensions. The telescope will spend the majority of its operational life in a location known as the Second Lagrange Point, or L2, which is located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This location allows the telescope to have a clear view of the sky without the interference of Earth's atmosphere. The JWST is a complex and ambitious project, and it's expected to make a number of groundbreaking discoveries during its mission. Its powerful infrared capabilities and ability to study the early universe are expected to provide new insights into the origins of the universe and the potential life beyond Earth. So, in space, it's been for a short period of time, but it's expected to have a long-lasting mission. Overall, the James Webb Space Telescope is a powerful tool that will allow scientists to study the universe in new and exciting ways. The discovery of the building blocks of life in an icy cloud located just 500 light-years from Earth is an example of the capabilities of this telescope and the potential for future discoveries. Hey. What's the coolest thing the James Webb Telescope has found? Let me know in the comments. The next piece is the most recent discovery of the telescope, and this discovery is bizarre. Let's move on. A team of NASA scientists was specifically looking for a molecule called a glycine, which is an amino acid that is essential for the formation of proteins. To their surprise, the team found a large amount of glycine in an icy cloud located just 500 light years from Earth. This discovery was a major breakthrough as it was the first time that scientists had found the building blocks of life in such a close proximity to our planet. Ice clouds, also known as cold molecular clouds, are regions of space where temperatures are extremely low, typically around negative 263 degrees Celsius. These clouds form when gas and dust in space cool and condense to form dense regions. One way that ice clouds can form is through the process of gravitational collapse. This occurs when a region of gas and dust become denser and more massive than its surroundings. The increased gravity causes the gas and dust to collapse inward, forming a dense cloud. 
Another way that ice clouds can form is through the process of radiative cooling. This occurs when a cloud of gas and dust is exposed to intense radiation, such as ultraviolet light from hot stars. The radiation causes the gas and dust to lose heat, which causes it to cool and condense into a dense cloud. Ice clouds can also form through the collision of two or more clouds. This process is known as cloud-cloud collision. This can cause the clouds to merge and form a denser and colder cloud. Once an ice cloud is formed, it can continue to cool and contract, forming dense regions known as cores. These cores can be further compressed by gravity, eventually leading to the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Overall, ice clouds are regions of space where temperatures are extremely low and they form through a variety of processes such as gravitational collapse, radiative cooling, and cloud-cloud collision. These clouds can be the birthplace of new stars and planetary systems and they are an important site for the formation of the building blocks of life. The icy cloud where the glycine was found is known as a cold molecular cloud. These clouds are extremely cold with temperatures reaching as low as negative 260 to 3 degrees Celsius. Despite the extreme conditions, scientists believe that these clouds could be an ideal environment for the formation of life-forming molecules. The discovery of the building blocks of life in this nearby icy cloud has opened up a whole new field of research. Scientists are now planning to send spacecraft to study these clouds in more detail in the hopes of finding more evidence of life-forming molecules. The discovery of the building blocks of life in an icy cloud located just 500 light years from Earth is a major step forward in our understanding of the origins of life. It's a reminder that the universe is vast and full of surprises and there's still so much we have yet to discover. The discovery of the building blocks of life is a big breakthrough for several reasons. First, it's the first time that scientists have found the building blocks of life in such a close proximity to our planet. This means that the building blocks of life may be more common in the universe than we previously thought. Second, the discovery was made through the James Webb Space Telescope, one of the most powerful telescopes in the world. This demonstrates the capabilities of the JWST and its ability to detect life-forming molecules in distant locations. Third, the discovery suggests that life-forming molecules could be formed in extreme environments, such as cold molecular clouds, which were previously thought to be inhospitable for life. Overall, the discovery is a major step forward in our understanding of the origins of life and the potential for life beyond Earth. It opens up new possibilities for future research and discoveries in the field of astrobiology. This discovery is truly groundbreaking. After all, who would have thought that there would be a living organism in an ice cloud? And what else would we discover now that we know this? I'd love to keep you posted, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Are there any new missions planned for more research? One of the missions that is planned to investigate these icy clouds is the Cold Molecular Clouds mission, which is currently being developed by NASA and the European Space Agency. The mission aims to study the properties of these clouds in more detail, including the chemical composition and temperature, and the way these clouds form and evolve. Another planned mission is the Origin Space Telescope, which is also being developed by NASA. This telescope will have the ability to study the universe in the infrared spectrum, similar to the JWST, and it will be able to study the early universe as well as the formation of stars and planets. It's also expected that future missions to study these icy clouds will include the use of space-based observatories and ground-based telescopes, as well as the use of robotic probes to collect samples from these clouds. These missions will help to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the properties of these clouds and the potential for the formation of life-forming molecules. Overall, this discovery has opened up new possibilities for future research and missions, and more research is planned to study these clouds in more detail to understand the potential of the formation of life-forming molecules in these environments. What other great discoveries has this telescope made? Since its launch in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has made a number of groundbreaking discoveries. One of its first major discoveries was the detection of water vapor on a distant exoplanet, which opens up the possibility of the existence of liquid water and thus potentially hospitable conditions on other planets. The JWST also helped in the discovery of the earliest galaxy ever observed. 
dating back to just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery provided new insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early universe. Another major discovery was the detection of light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe. The JWST's powerful infrared capabilities allowed scientists to study these ancient objects in unprecedented detail, providing new insights into the early universe. The JWST also found evidence of the presence of organic molecules, including complex hydrocarbons, on a nearby exoplanet, which could suggest the possibility of life on other planets. Overall, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a number of groundbreaking discoveries since its launch, providing new insights into the origins of the universe and the potential for life beyond Earth. It's expected to make many more discoveries in the future as it continues its mission of studying the universe. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world of astrobiology. We hope you enjoyed learning about this groundbreaking discovery and the potential implications it could have for the search for life beyond Earth. Did you think this was a good video? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next video. Stranger Binge, subscribe and find out.